Let's look at training.gov.au. First of all, type in training.gov.au into your URL field of your search engine. Press enter and this screen here will come up. On the bottom right hand side of the screen, there's a spot that says continue to training.gov.au. Click on that. When you come to the home page, you'll see training.gov.au has got some information on the screen there and on the right hand side is the search field. We'll unclick the superseded data box and we'll have a look around training.gov.au by starting out with a training package. So a training package is a large container of qualifications and units that you can use for vocational education and training. Let's have a look down the screen and you'll see that there's quite a lot of training packages, 50 of them. Why don't we have a look at business services training package. You'll see on the left hand side it says BSB is the code and its name is business services training package. We'll click there. Once we go to this page, we see the training package details. It's called Business Services Training Package. Its code is BSB and it's the second release. So there's been a couple of little changes, minor upgrades, since it was first released in 2015. That just reassures you that you're using the current version. Now, let's look down the screen and see what's inside this training package. So training package house Training packages house qualifications and also units. Qualifications are things like certificates and also diplomas. Certificates and diplomas have levels. The levels are set by the Australian Qualifications Framework. The Australian Qualifications Framework sets the level of qualifications. So for levels 1, 2, 3 and 4, they're known as Certificate 1, Certificate 2, Certificate 3 and Certificate 4. After that, the next level up is called a Diploma, that's AQF 5, or an Advanced Diploma, which is AQF 6. You'll learn more about that in your training course. So we see these various qualifications. Let's have a look at one now. Why don't we perhaps have a look at, let's see, maybe Certificate 3 in Business. So down here on the left hand side, BSB 30115, Certificate 3 in Business. Here's the details of this particular qualification. So the qualification lives inside the Business Services Training Package. It's got its own code too. BSB 30115, Certificate 3 in Business, Release 2. So also its second version and its current. It came from Business Services Training Package. Here are all the units which are inside the qualification. So a qualification has a whole range of different units which make it up. So in this case, the Certificate 3 in Business, let's have a look down and see how many units we need to achieve success with a Certificate 3 in Business. We can see the packaging rules. Packaging rules tell you how to put the program together. So we know that we need 12 units. One of them is mandatory, so that's a core unit. And then there are 11 electives. And there are rules around which electives you can choose. So although here there are more than 12 units, that's because of all the elective choices. So we have a look down here and we see which particular units you can choose from. Now. Let's say we want to look at one unit. So a unit is a topic or one particular uh, task that you might do in the workforce. Why don't we have a look perhaps at processing customer complaints. So this is one unit of the 12 that's required to make up Certificate 3 in Business. Let's click on BSB CMM 301. When we click on the unit, we can see it's got a name and a code, BSB CMM 301. This is the first version of this particular unit, Release 1. It's current. It's not going to be expired anytime soon. We find that this particular unit, though its parent package is business, is also included in other training packages as well. So they import this unit in from time to time if they need it in other qualifications. Here's a list of the qualifications which can have this particular unit inside it. 
Now let's look down for more details about this unit. You can download and attach Word files or PDF files on this if you wish. Or you can just look at it on the screen. We see the application, or in other words, the summary or overview of the unit. And we see the details. We have elements and performance criteria. The elements describe the essential outcomes or the chunks of outcomes that you need to achieve success with this unit. So to gain this particular unit, you need to address all of these, respond to complaints, refer complaints, and exercise judgment to resolve customer service issues. How you do that is specified here in the performance criteria. You need to satisfy those performance criteria in order to uh, pass this particular unit. Then we have what's known as the foundation skills. Foundation skills are generic work skills which are needed in the workforce. You'll read more about that and learn more about that during your training. If we continue down the screen, you'll see assessment requirements. There's performance evidence and knowledge evidence. Performance evidence is talking about the proof or evidence that is needed to prove that you can do something. So it's about performing. Knowledge evidence is about what you need to know and understand. Then we see assessment conditions, which describe the conditions which must be in place when you're assessed. So you'll learn more about this during your training. Now we've had a look at this unit of competency, but let's say that we wanted to have a look one more time at the business services training package. Let's go back two screens. The Business Services Training Package, that's the BSB. This contains not only qualifications and units, but it also contains something called skill sets. Now skill sets are smaller than a whole qualification, but bigger than a unit. So we can have a look at skill sets on the screen. So this is where a couple of units are put together to address one particular skill area. Let's look down the screen here we can see these various skill sets. Let's imagine that we wanted to look at the team leader skill set. So maybe we want to train somebody up as a team leader, or we're a person who wants to do team leader roles and we want to look at what training we can do. We could come to the team leader skill set. It has a name and a code, BSB SS00063, release two, it's current. If we look down the screen, we can see some information about this particular skill set and the units that make it up. Now, the last thing that I want to do is show you on the screen something called an accredited course. Now, sometimes there are skill areas that aren't covered in a skill set or a training package. So different providers or organizations approach their state regulator and ask them to endorse a particular accredited course rather than a national training package. So that happens where the organization says there isn't anything that meets their needs in an existing training package. So let's have a look at one. I'm looking up asthma because I know that there's an accredited course covering asthma. So the Asthma Foundation has gone to their regulators in different states. We'll have a look at the Victorian one in a moment and asked for endorsement for a particular course that just addresses this area, Asthma Ricks and Emergencies in the Workplace. So we'll click on that. And this tells us about this particular accredited course. It doesn't give us all the information because the people that put the course together and approach their state regulator, in this case VRQA, they hold that information. To find that information out, we need to contact them. Accredited course details in Victoria are available on the state's Education and Training Department website. Now that really brings me to the end of our trip around training.gov.au.